women don't want neutered men. They don't. Uh, absolutely. Even if they even if they personally neuter them themselves, it's not what they want in the end. So I'll ask the question, what do you think men want in women? That's a really good question. And I can answer that one easily. I think that the masculine realm that we operate in is based on respect. I think that men are constantly looking for a way to be respected. I think the world is hyper competitive and we're constantly always looking for status amongst our peers. This is why you will see a man give up his basically entire life to do something which will only gain him respect, even in a very small sphere. There are CEOs who go to work every day and don't even see their family and give up their entire life and work 12 hour days just to feel like the man in that office. Feeling important in that one office, in that one skyscraper is worth him giving up his life because he feels like he matters. And if he gets more respect in that office than he does at home or anywhere else, that's where he's gonna wanna be. Men function on that. So if I had to build the ideal woman who could get any man on earth. What she would have to do is understand that I need to give my man as much status and as much respect as possible. I, by extension of him, being next to him, need to make him look respected. And a lot of this is the easy things we know. No one's going to respect a man who's with an ultra promiscuous woman. No one's going to respect a man who's with a woman who is back talking him or horrible to him in public. No one's going to respect a man who's with a woman who clearly isn't interested in him sexually, whatever. That's all the obvious part. But the hidden actual message behind all of it is that men are constantly looking for status and respect and a woman who makes her man feel respected not only from her but from his peers is the kind of woman a man's never going to want to lose right so if i had a woman and i came home with all five of my friends and she came in the house and said came in the room who's hungry you don't want any food it's not about food I'm the G now. I'm the big boss. My woman wants to feed all of us. Of, of the guys there, most of their chicks won't, we would never do that. That's respect. That's status for me. That elevates my status. So I think as a woman, if you truly, if you're watching this and you want to keep a man happy, you need to wake up and say, how can I improve the status of my man to his peers? How can I make him look more important to the world? And as long as you take that basic mental frame, you can extrapolate that out to anything. Your man's not going to feel high status and important if you've had a whole bunch of sexual partners because you're promiscuous. So obviously that's a down, so that's no. He's not going to feel high status and important if you belittle him in front of his friends or you argue with him in front of his friends. He's not going to feel high status and important if you disagree with him on small, minor issues about, if he votes one way, just vote the same way. Like th these small, th voting's not a small thing, but these things make the man look in charge, it increases his status, and that's what he's most interested in in a woman. So that's what men are looking for. For the whole, that's the secret for the women who are out at home. They're going, men are hard to please. No, men are actually very simple to please. Make him feel important and make him